Uh, oh. A red flame. Step aside. Oh, we made it angry. Why don't you fuck off, you damn corporeal? Uh, I'm okay. Sorry. I'm okay. Earthquakes are made by emotions. I'm sure by angry emotions. Uh, Jesus! Ugh. In all the world, the most vile, untrustworthy individuals of them all are your school teachers. Oh, come on, I'm a nice, I'm a nice person. All you care about is your own well-being. I do not. Why do you think I went out there? I told you I was going to look for that girl. You're not worried about your students. You're just worried about being held responsible if something should happen to them. As bull. This really, really hurts. You're all the same, every last one of you. And I won't be taken in by your lies anymore. Taken in? When you see a problem among your kids, you just keep your distance. Because you sure wouldn't want to get involved. Have to keep up the appearances, right? You just pick out the problem children and chip away at them little by little until they either drop out or get expelled. You're not disciplining them, you're just raging at them. That's not what I'm... I never met a teacher who actually cared about her students, not once. Y you're wrong. G give me a chance to make up for this, okay? All of your students are destined to starve to death in these godforsaken halls. If they don't succumb to depression and kill themselves first. There's no other possible outcome. They'll all die meaningless deaths just like I did. And they sure won't be thinking about you when they take their final breaths. Oh. Any last words, bitch? Don't kill me! Please, let, let, give me a chance. I'll tell them, I'll tell them to your students as I end their miserable lives. Oh, spare me. <laughs> Come again. Spare my students, please. What was that? Please, I don't care what happens to me, just please spare their lives. It kill me if you have to. I'll prove it that way that I actually care about them. They're not your children. You're not their mother. Are you really pretending to care about them? Filthy liar. Did you know when you die in this accuse, accursed place, you experience the pain you felt at the moment of your death for all eternity. And I'm going to crush you to dust. The pain must be unbearable, unimaginable, and you're going to feel that pain every moment of every day forevermore. Just like you're doing right now, I'm sure, but come on. <sighs> Ask me to spare you. It's what you really want, isn't it? Be honest with me, and I'll consider sparing your life. You know what? Spare my students. Like, this could be a trick question. I'm gonna prove to you once and for all. That I care about my students. But it's not only that. I don't want more to go through this. So don't you harm a hair on their heads, you hear me? You are one stubborn little bitch. This is excruciating. I think my rib cage is broken. Wait, is this? No, that was a female student with a rib cage broken earlier. It feels like someone's pushing this cabinet down on top of me with superhuman force. I'm losing consciousness. <laughs> Does it hurt? Ah, oh, poor baby. Your corpse will look just like a dead frog on the side of the road. Oh, come on. Every body live. Oh, I love you all. I wonder if I could have saved her. But I thought it was a trick question. Meanwhile, 
Well, at the same time that I... <laughs> she went alone, she was effed. Uh, are you me? Another earthquake. I think it's over. But what's wrong? I just got a really bad feeling. We've got to go search for Miss Shishido. What if she comes back while we're gone and we miss each other along the way? We're going. You're stubborn. Uh, alright, alright already, but if we don't have any luck finding her, let's just make sure we come back to this room, okay? How about we leave her a note? Shinozaki, do you have anything I could write with? I've got a pen. But no paper, huh? Well, there's always the teacher's desk. Miss Yui, we're going to find. We've got to find you. If we pass each other and you see this message, wait right here. We'll be back. I'll be back. How's that? Blunt and kind of sloppy. Well, that's in her, that's in his nature. It's your fault we have to leave her a message at all, you know, because you're so stubborn. <laughs> but she might be in trouble. Uh, okay, okay, just don't cry. We'll find her. Hang on, hang on. What's this? Heavenly Host Elementary. Notice to all faculty and students. Due to the recent kidnappings. Uh, caution is highly recommended. Uh, yeah. I think I've read that before. So, she's up here. I think she's pretty much dead at this point. Um, okay. Door seems affixed to the wall like a model. Breaking news, serial kidnapping ends in murder. Uh, authorities quickly turn to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Uh, findings are far worse than any one could have anticipated. The bodies of Asanda youths were discovered within the school. I think I've read this before. A uh, male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of blooded scissors. Yeah, as was depicted. Yeah, this is the same message. What you doing? It's cold in here. You're probably feeling the presence of um, the teacher dying. Not to mention dark and scary. Hey, Shinosaki. Do you have any more of those candles? Like the one you lit up during the ghost story. Yeah, you're the horror enthusiast, weren't you? I do. Horror enthusiast, but still spooked out of bites. Uh, how about we light one up and take a quick breather? They give off some heat, right? Do they? Sure. I wouldn't think you could sense the heat from the candles, but this candle of mine really is kind of warm. Yeah, it is. So it's sort of also uh, in, honor, in honor of the teacher because she died here. Or was it the other classroom ahead? Hey, oi, oi, oi. Okay. No one's here. So it said no teachers allowed, but we're not a teacher. We're not teachers, we're just students. What is with this place? If you acquire any name tags from the corpses in this school, please bring them to me. I'll add them to my collection. Custodian. Stop! 
Hey, hey, hey. What the? Ouch. Can I? Okay. I, I guess not. A crude picture of seemingly drawn by a child adorns one of the shelves. Four smiling children are surrounding an adult and merrily stabbing him to death. I thought it was the adult stabbing them with a scissor. How unsettling. Rows of dead bugs are neatly arranged on each shelf. What? Ugh. No tools. Yeah, I think the teacher was in there. Looks like a dead end. Did this happen during the last earthquake? Miss Shishida, where are you? I'm really worried. Yeah, the earthquakes are caused by either strong emotion or whenever something is about someone is about to die. A bucket? There's a strange yellow fluid congealing inside the rusted buckets. Um, what's up? I just had a brainstorm. Class rep Shinazaki's famous scary time candles. There's not a student in 2-9 who isn't in intimately familiar with them, right? You kidding? There's not a student in our grade who hasn't seen them at least once. People call you the horror rep of Kisaragi for a reason. So how about... We like some candles like this, all throughout the school building. They'll be like signal flares for Machida and the others. Oh. Let them know what that you and me and Miss Shishido are all here with them, safe and sound. Yeah, I guess. I used them in chapter one. Seems more like she's just trying to reassure herself that she's okay. But if it, if it makes her feel better, then why not? Come on, let's go. Okay. That's fascinating. I used these. I used these in chapter one. So the so this pair they they yeah had an influence on Seiko and and uh, Naomi. It was. Well, this sounds much much creepier. <laughs> Living friends who are able to retain their sanity and reason will be your final ray of hope. So our teacher, did she just instantly went go into some different time and space as she left our room? When she went alone? We didn't even see... I don't even know. I don't even know. Entrance way. Each time you turn around, stop for a moment and ask yourself, is the world behind you back still there? That's deep. And spooky. The front entrance way we might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Okay. So I might be able to cross here. But not without some assistance. Oh, okay. So I think that's a... Oh! These are human bones. Yeah, they are. Oh god, no. Oh, she's having... She's not ventilating. Oh, it's gonna be hard to calm her down here. You okay, Shirosaki? It'll, I'll be fine. I'm, I'm just hyperventilating. Uh, a little. <coughs> Come on, we have to find Miss Shishido. Y yeah. So I think this is the first time I see dead remains in 
like more than more than a single lone skeleton. Where the hell is Satoshi? If if he were here, I bet Shinosaki would be a whole lot calmer. What are we standing around for? Let's get out of here. Okay, so it looks like you're back to your senses. Uh, uh, all right, already. <laughs> He's being bust around. Judging by size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or senior high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Byakudan Senior High School, Class 2 to 4, Kai Shimada. Kizami. Did you just hear? We have to get away from here. Uh, okay. Victim. Sliced up with edged weapon, bled out. Uh, judging by size, these appear to be remains of a junior or senior high school stu student. Closer inspection reveals an ID. Tomohiro on Okawa. Sliced up. For all of these sliced up. Uh, Masato Fukuroi struck with one weapon and stabbed with another. Bled out. Well, the skeletons are a little bloody. Hikari Kirigami. Uh, you don't belong to that school. Hikari. Uh, bled out from injuries. Age 13. Whew. Oh, that sure is bloody. There are decaying skeletal remains here, about the size of a middle school student. They are in the process of slowly drying and whitening, creating an almost overpowering stench throughout the hallway. Any clothing the deceased had been wearing is long gone, so there are no means of readily identifying gender on site. So yeah, how would this hallway smell like? Does that stink like mad? Victim's memoirs, one of five. I ate my friend today. What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. We both were, and there's no food here. So we decided together that one of us should try to live just a little bit longer. If I ever get home, I'm supposed to tell all the people waiting for us what happened. We left it all up to a game of... Oh, God. Game of paper, scissor, rock. Loser eats winner. Okay. And I lost. I thought it would be the other way around, but at the same time, I get it. I wouldn't feel like a winner eating someone else and surviving a little bit longer in a place like this. I felt her blood going down my throat, quenching my thirst. Her meat was supple and satisfying. Yeah. But that blood and that meat was once my friend, up until just a few hours before. I've been, te I've been talking with her. As I feasted, I just kept thinking, this food used to be a person. Before I tore it apart, it all worked together to sustain a life. And every time I thought about that, I just started crying and I couldn't stop. I wanted some part of her to be with me even after she died, so I decided to keep one of her eyeballs. And I thought maybe I should write all of this down to help preserve some small portion of my sanity. And to reduce my sanity by reading that. If you've not seen Arashi no Yoruni, then go watch it. This reminded me of that for some reason. Because that's where a friend potentially has to eat someone else. Yeah, watch it. It's a great movie. Classroom 4A. This is a classroom? But what, what the hell kind of room is this? It's not like any classroom I've ever seen. Hey, hey, you okay? Shinosaki? My head is splitting. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Are, are you okay? Come on. Stay with me. We shouldn't be here. 
But the whole ambience and atmosphere tells us we shouldn't be here. Okay, let's get out, come on. It looks like there's something in here though, in the back. Uh, okay, can, can we do it? Can we stay here a little bit more? A little bit longer? Okay, what's... What's in here? There was a step, that was not us. Oh, What the hell is that? Stay back. Ugh. Don't scare me like that, jeez. <laughs> you absolutely... You positively must not look into his eyes, okay? Okay. Looks like a smile. Um... Okay. A rusted blood soaked nail puller is sitting on top of the desk. Take it. Yeah. I don't like the creepy pickup music while that thing's standing at the center here. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, so. Hang on. Like this. And. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Oh yeah, I remember this place. That's where the principal was or someone like that. Um, so our first tool, nail puller. Nail puller? Like, does that mean like cut your nails or does that actually mean Ugh. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't want to know. I don't want to think about it. Um, it's not even an entrance to this. Yeah, classroom itself seems to be absent. There's no door, and the hall windows show only a black void. Cause it's a different space. Ugh, pile of bones. Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, these are likely the remains of a female student. As I said, you never know. There's a hastily written note on the ground. Its writer seems to have struggled with it, as the lettering is inconsistent and difficult to read. But why, sister? It hurts. It hurts. After I die, the pain will continue forever. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, hey. Sis, you lied to me. There's a spirit next to me. He's, oh, he's mad. He's, he's red. He's mad. You're going to leave me behind, aren't you? I will never forgive you. Uh, can I, can I help you? I hate your sister. I'm not your sister. Okay. Oh, is this? Is this door with static? Oh, I wonder if we can go upstairs to the lavatories, to the girls' lavatories, and see Seiko. Like Seiko being hung. Perhaps I can even help Seiko. Ugh. Oh, that sprite looks so creepy. It looks like you have no eyes. What is it? Hey. What the fuck? Did I have a point there? Uh, girl? Uh, are you possessed or something? Uh... In the corner, of course. Um, there you are. What are you doing? Uh, no one is saying that. What? Today is my daughter's birthday. She's turning seven. But what are you doing? That's disgusting. Why are you both looking at me like that? So, what? It's a Possessed spirits here. Uh, Sh Shinosaki, hey. 
you're back with me now, right? Uh, Kishinuma? What's wrong? <laughs> you ask me what's wrong? You were saying some pretty weird stuff just now. You walked down here all by yourself, and you look so possessed. It seems like you're aware of this. Must be the pressure. Her nerves are probably shot all to hell by now. Nah, this is the environment. These are the spirits haunting us. Uh, never mind, probably just my imagination. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What are you talking about? <laughs> this has nothing with imagination to do. Um, okay. Let's get. Oh! Chime. Ch Wet me? None. What's going on? It's pitch black. Am I gonna experience the same thing now, seeing spirits? Uh, Shinosaki, Miss Yui, Satoshi, is anyone there? Man, where the hell am I? Was I dreaming or something? I can't move? Feels like walls all around me. Am I in a hole or something? Uh, oh. This, what? Who's... Uh... Somebody hitting me? Uh oh, S stop! Dirt and gravel from above? Oh, t stop the hell! I'm alive down here! I'm alive down here! You're planning to suffocate me? I'm I'm reliving what someone else did when he died. Oh, my mouth is getting totally filled up. Am I being buried alive? Thank oh, stop! Oh, I must be buried alive. I can't breathe. Am I going to die like this? Why would I? This can't be happening. It's like uh, I'm in a coffin. Ugh. This isn't funny. Stop it. My eyes are really hurting. Okay, not in the coffin. It's like... Okay. Uh, can't breathe. Game over, chapter two, wrong end? One out of four? <laughs> so, say what? Could I move out of the way, perhaps? Ah. I might have been able to move out of the way. I thought I... I didn't think I could move. But I call it quits for now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you like these sort of videos, then please consider subscribing to my channel to stay updated on my horror content. And consider throwing a like on my video as well to show your appreciation if you like it. Don't be afraid to comment below to tell me what you think and to have a chat with me. I will respond. <laughs> So, thank you very much, and good night. Oh, not again. I don't care if you're innocent. You're listed, you're listed as buried alive. You're mine. I'm sure I sell a share with the likes of you.